thank you for watching. My name is Rhiannon and I'm here to bring you practical and easy tips for natural and healthy living and eating. And I want to start off with one of my favorite recipes today, which is something that most people love, chocolate chip cookies. And all of my recipes are vegan, but don't let that scare you. They are delicious and you're going to love them. So first we need to start with collecting the ingredients. And you'll need uh, nine ingredients, and you'll need a cookie sheet, a clean cookie sheet, a large mixing bowl, and a spoon, and you'll need some measuring spoons and uh, a couple of measuring cups. So first we're going to start with the one cup of whole wheat white flour. I like the whole wheat because there's more nutrients in it and it's not pure white, so it's not as refined as the uh, white flour that you typically get in most baked goods. Um, and you have four tablespoons of vegan butter, and I like to use the Earth Balance, that's the favorite uh, brand to use. There's no hydrogenated oils or anything bad in there. There is one fourth, one fourth of a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, and get the pure stuff, the imitation stuff is not the same. Uh, you'll want one third of a cup of pure maple syrup and you will want one third of a cup of chocolate chips and I'm using the Enjoy Life Dairy Free Vegan Chocolate Chips. I hope you can find those at your store and these are the mini variety because we're going to make mini chocolate chips and you need one teaspoon of baking powder and you need one half of a teaspoon of baking soda there it is. and you'll need one fourth of a teaspoon of salt and one fourth of a cup of sugar now I use the organic raw sugar so it actually has that nice brown look to it because it's not super refined it's not pure white so you don't need to use brown sugar for this recipe and then you just mix it up. Now that you've got the mix made, and look, it looks like regular ordinary cookie mix, and it's going to taste like regular chocolate chip cookies. You need a baking sheet, those, and you need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. No more than that. And you will want to bake these for about seven to eight minutes, not very long. The original recipe calls for nine minutes that I got, in, that this recipe is inspired from, but I found that nine minutes is too long. I like them nice and soft and chewy, so about seven to eight minutes. And you can make them any size you like, but I like to keep them small and they bake faster. All right this going. Just take a little bit with your fingers and roll it in the palm of your hand to get a rounder ball-like shape. And then just get as many on there as you can. Usually I can get about 24 on there. go little balls of cookie dough and place them in the oven and be very careful you don't want them to look particularly done when they come out of the oven they're gonna look like they're not quite done yet but they keep cooking once you take them out so if you take them out and sit them down in about five minutes they will be absolutely the perfect chewy warm cookie texture and they will be as delicious a cookie as you have ever eaten I promise so 
See you in about seven minutes. Okay, I think our cookies are done. <clears throat> Let's take them out of the oven before they burn. Ah, perfect. You see, when they come out of the oven, they're still gonna be kind of puffy looking and they're gonna look like they have a little bit of moisture still to them and you're gonna think, hmm, are they done enough? But they are. You don't want any brown around the edges the way that I like them anyway. And you just wanna sit them out, turn the oven off, be sure to turn the oven off, and just let them set for about two to five minutes and they will finish cooking on their own and they will shrink down a little bit and they will be absolutely perfect and they'll stay soft and chewy and uh, you'll absolutely love them these are an absolute win every person that i've ever let taste these including my own children just absolutely adore these cookies there's nothing it, they don't taste what you would think of as typically vegan um, they taste absolutely normal. You wouldn't know that they were vegan unless I told you. All right. All right, they've had about enough time to cool, so now it is time we have to try one. They're still a little hot, but delicious. Mmm. Mm. These couldn't have come out better. These really couldn't have. So, give it a try. It's relatively guilt-free. It's much lower in fat than normal cookies, uh, especially home-baked varieties usually are. So give them a try. I hope you like them. You can experiment with different things in the recipe. And uh, I will be back soon with another recipe and tips for healthy and natural living and eating. Thank you very much for watching my show, and I hope you enjoy it. Bye.